Hey there, it's Kristen and Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries, and in today's vlog, we're going to do something really special and a little different. Today's vlog is called Bethany Answers Personal Questions About Thriving as a Single Girl. So one of the most popular questions that we get through our website and through our YouTube channel from girls like you are questions about singleness, guys, marriage, romance, yes. anything in that category. And so as you know, Bethany is single and a lot of you have questions specifically for her because you email us and you say, Bethany, how do you handle this? Or what do you do about that? You know, you're getting older and single. What do you think about this? <laughs> and so she can't respond to every single email, but... In this vlog, we thought it would be really good for me to ask her some really pointed and personal questions about being single so you could hear her answers and kind of how she's working through this and handling this season of life. And we hope that this vlog could really be an encouragement to you. So Bethany, question oh. number one, and we're just gonna keep this I don't know casual. what the questions are. <laughs> she doesn't know these questions, I came up with these. Okay, so question number one, as a single girl who really desires to get married, because I know you That's really true. desire that, you pray yeah. for that, uh -huh. how do you stay content during this prolonged season of singleness? Ooh, yeah, that's true. I think that's a good point, though, because mm -hmm. I have come to a point where I am very content as a single girl, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean I don't desire marriage, because honestly, I really do desire to get married, like, five years ago. That would have been <laughs> nice, but <laughs> I've learned to really, like, every day, not to mm. think ahead, not to think of the future, not to look ahead and go, oh my goodness, I'm probably going to be 100 years old just sitting in a rocking chair all by myself. You know, that's depressing. Like, <laughs> great, yeah, and I probably imagine, like, 100 cats climbing around me, like, <laughs> just this withered old woman that's just miserable, but we love I've cats. We love cats, but I've had to completely like take those fears mm. and worries out of my mind. And honestly, one of the best things for me to really remain content mm -hmm. and joyful during this season is to really not worry about the future and then just really mm. embrace every single day that God has given me and say, wow, God has given me this day. How can I serve him best right now? I'm not worrying about tomorrow. I'm not worrying about the future. I'm not going to worry about what, you know, when I'm a hundred on the rocking chair sitting on the porch, I'm going to embrace today and look for the mm. moments in today, the joyful moments, how I can serve him the yeah. gifts he's given me today so that's something I would recommend for the yeah. other single girls is really look for the joy and you know the what God you know, has for, yeah, you, what today. God has for yeah. you today and mm -hmm. not to worry about the future mm -hmm. okay question number two we're gonna oh. keep this rolling <laughs> what has been the most helpful tip for you on thriving during mm -hmm. the singleness so not just surviving yeah. not just getting through it till you get married but yeah. truly thriving as a single yeah. girl what has been the most helpful tip one of the best things for me has been not I think I, I, when I was younger, I used to like think that my life started once I got married mm. and I was, this was just kind of like a holding pattern. And once I got married, once I had a husband, once I had children, then my life would really start. But I kind of had mm. to have a rewind and realize, no, my life starts right now and God can use me right now where he has me today. So one of the best mm. tips is to live to glorify God and to mm. live to the fullest and use this season that I'm in right now and not to wait to start my life until mm. one day. So really to just have purpose and not yes. hold out for the future, but live to the fullest mm -hmm. right now, live to glorify God completely yes. and fully as a single today. And question number three, and this one might catch you a little <laughs> off guard, but I know a lot of you might be wondering this and this will be great for them to hear your answer. Oh. How do you handle your thoughts when you meet a really good looking single guy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because you want to get married and you yes. notice the single guy. So yes. how do you handle your thoughts? I think sometimes girls, cause they'll email me and I think they think I'm like blind <laughs> or like, don't really like you can't yeah, see any guys. Like I can't see guys or I'm oblivious, but <gasps> Just for the record, that's not true. I very much desire marriage, and I do notice godly, attractive young men around me, that's single normal. young men. It's yeah. I'm very normal. Mm -hmm. So I have to deal with those thoughts just like all of mm. you. But I think the most helpful thing for me has just been to, on a daily basis, to learn to guard my thoughts and to learn to guard what I'm thinking about and to not have those impure thoughts throughout the day. Because if I'm struggling with my thoughts all of the time, when I meet like a really cute godly guy, it's going to be instantly like, oh, imagining life with 10 kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, I've learned that the more faithful and diligent mm -hmm. I am to take my thoughts captive just during the day, during the evening, before I go to bed, the easier it is mm -hmm. to take my thoughts captive mm -hmm. when I meet that really handsome single young men. And it's That's easy so for me not to go down a mm. road that will lead to something not God honoring. <laughs> so I would just encourage mm. you girls out there to just learn to take your thoughts captive during the day, during the week, so that when you meet that godly young man, you can just appreciate his character mm. and look at him and go, wow, he's very nice and attractive and move on and not dwell obsess on it. Obsess over it. Not yeah. obsess over it. And number four, last question, and this is such a good one, mm. and one that I don't think a lot of people, a single people, or I don't know, it doesn't get asked very often, but I yeah. know a lot of people think about this. So this is going to be a good one. How have you personally worked through the possibility 
of never getting married. So that idea, people say, well, what if you never get married? And you think, oh, I don't want to think about that. I mean, have you thought about that or worked through that? Mm -hmm. So I have thought about that. It's not something that I don't really have the grace to deal with that right now because I do desire to get married. Mm -hmm. But I think something that has helped me when I think about that. So when I think of being, okay, what if I do, what if I never get married? What if that's what God has for me? I've really had to basically remind myself of who God is because I truly Mm. believe that God is all sufficient, Mm -hmm. that he is, that he truly knows what's best for my life, what's best for your life, what's best Mm -hmm. for your life. He Mm -hmm. truly has the, our best interest in mind and he knows best how we can glorify and serve him. So for me, I've realized, wow, even though I don't have all the pieces to the puzzle right now, God is, if I'm striving to glorify him, Mm -hmm. if I'm striving to God honor him, he's not going to withhold something good for my life. So he's not going to say, oh, well, it would be better if Bethany Mm -hmm. had a husband. She could better glorify me that way, but I'm going to keep that away from her. Mm -hmm. No, he is going to use me in the way that he sees is best for me. So if it is best for me to glorify mm. him and that is how I can best serve him as a single, wow. then I'll be single and I'll remain single. But if it's best for him to give me a husband, then he'll give me that. So instead of worrying about it and wondering, oh no, I can mm. just relax and surrender that and say, God, if that's what you have for me, mm. then I can embrace that because I know you're not going to withhold anything good for me. Well, that wraps up our live Q&A with Very Bethany. Very quick Q&A. Very quick. I hope that that was helpful for you. Just kind of getting an inside peek into your brain. And some of those questions we never addressed on the blog or on a video. And so I think we pray that that has been really helpful for you as Bethany is striving to honor God as a single. And I would personally say, knowing you personally, that you're doing a really great job of being very productive and honoring the Lord during this season. So I think you're an example to many. And we just really hope that this video was encouraging to you. So we would love to hear from you. Leave us a comment below in the comment section and let us know maybe something as a single, how you thrive and honor God during the season. Like Bethany shared some tips. We want to hear from you. Share your tips with us below. If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from us, you can subscribe to our channel below. We post new videos every Wednesday. Oh, I go like this. Uh, okay, ready? Ow. Today's vlog. Uh, oh, you were doing so good. I know. Oh no. You got it. Oh, great. I know. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, three, two. Maybe I should do the intro. Okay, go. Okay. And she. Uh, you were doing good. I go. Oh, yeah, because I thought you were about to. I was! Oh, can I help you? Yes. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, we're bombing okay, it today. I know. Okay. <laughs>